Tom Brady got Bruce Arians fired. Yes. And so you think, oh, you think Todd Bowles is going to put a draw I think line you in the should have a nutsack if you're a head football coach. Hey, are we what giving Todd Bowles a pass here? Are we giving Todd Bowles a pass? Does he deserve some blame here? Of course he does. Look, he's the head coach. He's the captain of the ship. And he, as a, as a respected football guy who sees Tom Brady every day in practice, and he understood the training camp was very disjointed. And then also, we have to be fair, the offensive line is banged up. However, when you have a quarterback who's still pretty good but has diminishing skills because that's what's to be expected at age 45, again, run the ball once in a while because it's having an effect on the defense. And I see this a lot. I don't know if it's the analytics of football, but a good running game does two things. And, again, it's an old-school mindset, but I am old. Number one, it helps your quarterback. It keeps the chains moving, but it also keeps the defense fresh and off the field. And I see too many games where these quarterbacks are all thrown for 40-plus times. And, you know, it's interesting. It's dinking and dunking, but it doesn't score all that many points, and it's not all that efficient. And if you don't complete a high percentage of passes, which nowadays is right around 70%, you end up putting that defense on the field for a lot of plays. This is on Todd Bowles. He's the head coach, just like any of his 31 other colleagues. The results and the way your team performed, yes, that's on him. I put no blame on Todd Bowles. I really don't. (laughs) He's he's got this Tom Brady situation. I don't think any coach could manage what's going on with Tom Brady. Bill Belichick could. Mm. Bill Belichick Uh wanted to get rid of Tom Brady for all of these reasons. He could see the guy wanted, and so So, that's how he dealt with it. So, to Steve's point, I would blame Byron Leftwich before I would blame Todd Bowles for what's going on in the Oh, you think Byron Leftwich can tell Tom Brady what to do? Uh, I think he's (laughs) calling the plays. I think Todd Bowles, if if you're going to blame a coach, it's not Todd Bowles who's a defensive coordinator by trade. So he's not up there scheming up what what comes and goes. I will tell you – if we're going to blame Todd Bowles for anything, it's for saying, oh, yeah, Tom, take Wednesdays off. I got no problem with that. Do, do whatever you want. It's all good. He, Tom Brady got Bruce Arians fired. Yes. And so you think, oh, you think Todd Bowles is going to put a draw I think line you in the should have a nutsack if you're a head football coach. But TJ, if TJ, you have one, you don't get that job. TJ, then it, it ain't worth the job worth having. By the way, what, last thing, Steve, because we, we've talked about this before. There's no evidence that Todd Bowles is a good coach. Zero. All right, he because had a decent run had, in New York. No, he didn't. He had well, one no, good he year. He was ten and, and six. And, and, then he was five and eleven, five yeah. and eleven, four and twelve, and got fired. He sucked. TJ, about the Wednesdays off. There's a lot of veteran players though that have earned that day off. Like I think Andrew Whitworth with the Rams. Quarterbacks. Quarterbacks. Okay. Uh, well, okay. The greatest quarterback ever. He's forty-five. Look, Tone there setter. Are- Tone setter for your whole I, I don't, Yeah, how's it working out for practice. <laughs> Well, okay. But to say that he's the only guy that gets a day off, it, it's simply not true, guys, factually. Let's say, Again, uh, you know what? Let me tell you what you're arguing. What you're arguing is Bill Belichick announcing, you know what, guys? I'm going to take Wednesdays off, turn it over to my assistants. <laughs> Would you be okay with that? No, because he's the coach. It, you, you're comparing apples So is to Tom. Oranges. He's the quarterback. Oh, he's okay. the quarterback. It's almost – he gets paid more than the coach. He sets the tone just like the coach. He doesn't get to take well, wins one, he's off. One additional thing, Stephen, you just argued this. <clears throat> this is the quarterback position where these other guys are taking Wednesdays off as maintenance days. It's because their okay. bodies are falling apart and they can't go out and practice. Tom Brady's taking it off because he wants to take his kids to the water park. Okay, but you're telling me a guy that's played over 20 years in a quarter in a position you still get hit. It's not like kicker or punter. And I, I know they protect the quarterbacks, but still, there has to be a little bit of give. Look, I didn't like that hiatus from the training camp. I really didn't. I absolutely hated the fact you didn't take the team plane up to Pittsburgh a couple of weeks ago. That's where I draw the line. But again, there are players of veteran distinction that have been given days off this is nothing know, unusual but here's what you here's what you sound like you, you sound mm-hmm. like uh well i didn't like whitlock eating that double cheeseburger and i really didn't like him eating that uh hot chicken sandwich but i'm okay with the french fries 
Th- that's what you said. The French fries <laughs> are the indicator of the double cheeseburger <laughs> and the hot chicken sandwich. No, <laughs> that's no. Wednesday's no. off <laughs> are the French fries. And it's an indication that he's going to go to a wedding and skip walkthroughs, and he's going to take 11 days off during training camp. Steve, he's not sore on Mondays. All right, they're not allowed to touch Tom Brady. I, half of the, 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 the closest thing he'll get to being sore on Monday is if his shoulder's a little stiff from throwing the ball 60 times trying to win the game. That's Tom Brady on Sunday, or on Mondays. And so the, the other part of it, it's like we're seeing this would have happened, this would happen across the league if you ever let quarterbacks have that day off. Players around you start to crumble. Nobody's playing well. In fact, I disagree with you about Father Time catching up to Tom Brady because I don't see any physical deterioration. His arm looks good. And he was never a good athlete, so it's not like he's slowing down with his feet. His problem is the people around him aren't performing because he's not there to help guide them through it like he's done for the last 20 years. When you have seven Super Bowl rings and been to 10, you're telling me you get treated like an average quarterback, really. You really believe that? If you want to win. 